Well, here we are. The Raps are on a two-game winning streak at home. And I mean, who knew they would be such an effective road team and yet kind of a pedestrian home team. But they're starting to pick it up a little bit. A two-game win streak at home, like I said. Let's see if they can go for three tonight. But it's going to be a tough test. The mighty Celtics are in town. Let's get to it. Raps, Pacers. Yeah, Raps pick up the W. 131-91, 40-point win. Pretty big win. But uh, the real story is about the speaker at the Scotiabank Arena that caught on fire. Yeah, game was suspended temporarily. Fans were asked to evacuate, but they will be getting their money back. And hey, I mean, that's just a good look on the Raptors organization. Ultimately, yeah, everybody's safety is number one. And hey, everyone still gets their money back and gets to go to another game. Maybe later on, maybe this season, maybe next season. Doesn't really matter. No, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, Raps picked up the W. 131-91, like I said, 40 point win. And if we take a look at the call review, I was right on two of the three aspects we talk about. Right about the money line, right about the spread. Wrong about the over-under, so that sucked. But as a result, I'm now 103-92. Tonight, the Raps are back in Scotiabank Arena. They are taking on one of the toughest teams in the East, actually in the league, the Boston Celtics. And if we take a look at the odds for that one, odds makers have set the spread at three and the total at 220.5. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to go with the Celtics to cover and win. They've just been so dominant lately. They're 30-9 and nine since January 1st. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if the Raps win because, you know, that's my luck. And, well, that Toronto team, they're stubborn. So I'm going to go over 220 and a half as well since both teams are combining for 241 points over each of their last five games. In terms of what the Raps can do on defense, get into the passing lanes. Over their last five games, the Seeds are averaging about 30 assists per game, and that's number one in the league. In terms of what the Raps can do on offense, offensive boards. Crashing the offensive boards has been something that the Raptors have been really, really good at this season. And well, they're averaging around 14 right now. That's amongst the top in the league. So if they can continue that, that will definitely help them as well. That's it for me, but make sure you check out the game day preview. It's already been posted on the website. Uh, and then tonight, the wrap up will go live right after the game. And then nothing but positives will be posted. The quick react will also be posted. And then tomorrow morning, you can catch the game day recap. Uh, that's going to be posted, like I said, in the morning. All that great content can be found on raptorsrepublic.com. But in the meantime, make sure you hit subscribe down below. Subscribe to a Raptors Republic YouTube channel. Uh, we have great content across the board from the entire team. Everybody just does such a great job day in, day out, week in, week out. And uh, it's just been awesome. This has been a great season so far. Now, I'll catch you next time. That'll be on Wednesday when the Raps take on the Timberwolves. Peace.